There is a fact which revolutionary socialists, especially in the core of global imperialism, the United States, must face in order to succeed. This is the fact that uh, we aren't going to actually carry out a revolution until the masses are behind us. This sounds like a no-brainer, but it's something that I feel I've easily overlooked, at least subconsciously, in my past development as a Marxist. Because when you get towards this ideology which is focused around the idea of liberating the working class and defeating the capitalist state and setting up uh, the kind of workers' democracy that's worked so well for China, Vietnam, Cuba, the DPRK, USSR, all of these past and present Marxist-Leninist states, you get the sense that uh, that you're just going to have this kind of handed to you, that uh, that all you have to do is uh, carry out the uh, the appropriate uh, guerrilla warfare tactics like how Che Guevara did, and you'll succeed. When really, guerrilla warfare and getting armed and trained, though important, are just a few facets of our task. Primarily, we're going to be able to win by uh, winning over the broad masses, by making inroads with the communities who we're trying to help. This is uh, what's really going to primarily bring us towards victory. If we don't have the masses on our side, then all that guerrilla warfare tactics will do is get us killed and marginalize our movement. I mean, I, I feel like Xinjiang, uh, Xinjiang, that, that's apparently the better way to pronounce it, shows how not to carry out a revolution. And uh, what I'm referring to is the attempt that the U.S. imperialists have been making in recent decades to try to stir up uh, violence within Xin Xinjiang and, uh, and get the Uyghur separatists to try to bring about this fascist Islamic extremist breakaway state, East Turkestan, uh, that uh, breaks away from the jurisdiction of the Communist Party of China. And because they haven't been able to win over the broad masses within China, because the broad masses within Western China haven't agreed with us, this idea of breaking away from the existing state, uh, all that these subversion efforts that the imperialists have made in that region have, have done is uh, make this extremist separatist movement peter out and get suppressed by the government and, uh, and make it so that uh, basically these revolutionary attempts by the imperialists have failed. And I think that this speaks to the hubris of the imperialists uh, because the imperialists, in their efforts to manufacture this revolution and to create this new breakaway state, have not gone about this with, uh, with an understanding of dialectics. <laughs> they've assumed that all, all they've, they've had to do is, uh, is stir up some random violence and, uh, and destabilize things enough for uh, some uh, larger instability to occur, when really... Uh, this is impossible given the conditions of that uh, of that region where the vast majority of the people there agree with uh, with staying under the jurisdiction of the existing state uh, so this is the lesson I think that we could take from that don't be like the imperialists don't be a historical have a proper understanding of uh, of dialectics and recognize that you can't bring about a revolution, you can't bring about a break away from the existing state until you've actually put in the work to, uh, to win over the support of the masses to your cause. Uh, which I, I think when the revolution actually happens, it's going to be ironic, because uh, when the revolution happens, the imperialists in all likelihood will have continued to have failed to bring about their... Uh, their desire for a revolution within Western China due to their own hubris and their uh, ignoring of dialectical materialism, 
whereas we'll have helped bring about an anti-colonial proletarian revolution in the imperial core due to our understanding of dialectics. Let's <laughs> bring about this ironic near future by going about a revolutionary project uh, without a sense of myopia, without thinking that all we have to focus on is the militancy aspect and, uh, and also focus on the task of winning over the masses.